Hola legends, hola superstars, it's Pips, and I'm here to bring you the round 14 tips for a massive round of AFL football. Hey, last week it was an absolute loser's weekend. I was a massive loser, I only picked three winners of a massive week where, let's be honest, everybody who we thought we would lose, won. So we're going to flip it around this week and we're going to give you the proper losers who are going to come out underneath in a big week of footy. And because it's all kicking off this Friday night, 7.40pm at the Jabba the Hut, the Brisbane Lions versus the St Kilda Saints. Hey, two teams, let's be honest, have been pretty average throughout the year. St Kilda had a pretty good win, let's be honest, last week against the Gold Coast Suns at home, which nobody thought that they would get, but it was an absolute snore fest. And the Brisbane Lions, a great win against an undermanned dogs down here in Melbourne. So who takes this one out? We're going by the simple factor that this is in Brisbane, and Brisbane are really still difficult to beat up there at the Jabba. And so I'm going with the Brisbane Lions to take this one out by approximately four to five goals. It will get quite comfortable in the end. How good was Eric Hipwood last week? Finally getting some form. Six a proper bags, bags, bags that we like to see. And with him and Danaher, I think they're going to cause those back line of the St Kilda Football Club a little bit of discomfort, and they're going to win this one quite easy. All right. Hey, a game that we are all going to be looking forward to, and I reckon it's going to be almost the game of the weekend. We're talking about the Western Bulldogs and the Fremantle Dockers. Fremantle, two weeks ago, were awesome against the Ds, smashed them. The dogs were down. Freo coming off a bye. Western Bulldogs haven't had one just yet. But it's Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at Mar L Stadium, we think the Western Bulldogs unfortunately will get beaten again. They are just tired. They are limping into this break and free are fresh. They're excited. They're rejuvenated after their big win against the D's in the Alice. And they're going to take this one out on a very wet, a very rare win on the road. So the Western Bulldogs, it's no fault of their own. They just need to get some troops back. We're looking forward to Waitman getting back. They do need Norton back. They do need Darcy after his suspension. And they're also looking forward to Ed Richards getting back in there as well too. But it's not going to be this week. And that's why the Fremantle Dockers will win this one. We're going to have four or five goals as well. I don't think it's going to be as tight as people think. It is going to be quite easy for Frio. Their midfield is absolutely flying. And their four line are going to be sensational as well. Hey, who would have thought that three weeks ago, if you penciled in Richmond versus Hawthorne, Saturday, 4.35pm at the MCG will be a must-see game. Well, after last week's results, it is definitely going to be one that you want to be tuning into. Why? Well, it's Dusty's 300th for one because he has been an absolute generational superstar throughout his entire career. He is the captain of the Don't Argue. He is Mr. Tats. He's Mr. Norm Smith. He is Mr. Premierships. And the great man is getting to 300 games, which everybody is going to celebrate. But Richmond, they're going to get a bit of form after their win against Adelaide last week. And how good were the Hawks against GWS to get the win? So these two teams are coming off a win. And it's going to get, I reckon, a little bit challenging there at the G. I reckon it might be a little bit back and forth. Richmond will be pumped, and I think that they will not get the win, though. The Hawks are on too good of a roll, playing too good footy at the moment. But I'm saying this one will be no more than one goal. Yes, it'll be one goal between the teams. Hawthorne will win this win, which means Richmond will be losing. But there'll be no shame in it because they are going to be celebrating one of the greatest footballers ever to pull on the boots. And we're talking about Dusty Martin for the Richmond Tiger. But Hawthorne, hey, they have been brilliant over the last six to seven weeks. Fantastic footy, and they're going to continue on their streak and their very, very slight chance of playing finals as well too. All right, from a game that everybody wants to see, to probably a game, unless you're a Sydney supporter, you're not going to want to watch because it's Adelaide versus Sydney, Saturday 7.30 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. Adelaide are putrid, Sydney are sensational. Sydney, at least six or seven goals, and that is if they do it in third year. If they decide to play this one properly and put the nose to the grindstone, this could be a tenner and put Steve Inix in a lot more trouble to keep his job at the end of the year. I'm not going to spend too much time on that game because Sydney are just way too awesome. They are the number one team in the league right now, and that is why they're going to win this one quite simple against a pretty pathetic Adelaide Crows. Rightio, North Melbourne. Yes, they won their first game last week, and how cool was it to see the Kanga, Kanga, Kanga chant bell across the... Uh, up the stadium, I forgot where the game was being played, against Collingwood, who beat a really putrid Melbourne again. This game, Sunday, 1pm at Marvel Stadium. It's Collingwood's home away from home over the last few weeks. They will win this one. North Melbourne, I know you had a great win last week. 
the West Coast to Collingwood is a different um, kettle of fish altogether. You're going, uh, you're going from uh, ball lollies to the uh, highest of high grade chocolates in Collingwood, and they'll win this one, and they'll do this one probably by eight or nine goals. I think, even though North Melbourne will pretty much put up a big fight, they're just going to be too strong across the board, and on that fast deck, they're going to probably do it very, very easily. Actually, I will take that back. It won't be eight or nine goals. I'll probably go maybe five to six at the most because I think North, that midfield is humming nicely and it was good to see Larky get some uh, some goals last week. But Collingwood, too strong, too organised, too professional to lose this one to North Melbourne. All righty GWS versus Port Adelaide. Sunday, all the way down at, um, yes, I think that's GWS Stadium or Cam- Canberra Stadium. Let's just say it's in Canberra. And uh, GWS, she's so ruining at the fact that they lost to Hawthorne down there. They would have penciled that one quite easily in a number of weeks ago. But as we know, Hawthorne were playing cracking footy. And Port, she's they're going backwards quicker than most teams. I think between them and Melbourne, they are really going backwards in a hurry. They are the worst top eight team in there right now. And the way that they're going, they should be out of the eight within a couple of weeks. GWS will win this one. They will not lose another one like that. Cody Green has been down over the last couple of weeks. I'm expecting a bit of a lift. I don't know if it's fatherhood or if it's just, you know, a lull in his uh, career. But he's been very, very non-Toby-like. Hasn't been aggressive, hasn't been kicking goals, and hasn't been causing controversy, which is not what we like to see. We want to see my love child, Toby Green, have an absolute corker. Port Adelaide, Look, with no Charlie Dixon, it makes it really, really difficult for them to kick a, a score. It's all back on Horn Francis, Rioli, Georgie Argies, and I don't think it's going to be them at the moment. So I think Gold Coast, uh, sorry, I think GWS will win this one and do it quite handsomely by four or five goals. Uh, that means that the Suns, Carlton, Geelong, Essendon, Melbourne, and West Coast all have the week off. Some teams are ruined the fact that they got a week off, and some teams like mine are happy that they're going to be out of the headlines for another week. So there you go. There's my tips for a round 14 cracking week of football. Make sure if you haven't, like, subscribe, ring the bell for a lace out content. We drop this every single week. Our tips and losers for weeks of football because it's how you want your content. Join in, be part of the crew, and enjoy your footy because sooner or later, this season is going to be ending in a number of weeks' time. We don't want it to be your team, uh, so enjoy it while the uh, iron is hot. Hope your team wins, viewers. Have a good weekend.